Now, the United States is waiving sanctions on the company that is behind Russia's Nord Stream 2 pipeline and its chief executive. The decision comes as U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov held a high-level meeting and agreed to work on differences between the two countries. U.S. had imposed sanctions on some ships and entities involved in construction of the $11 billion pipeline. The project aims to take a Russian gas from the Arctic to Germany. The U.S. had opposed the deal, but now the Biden administration has decided to waive sanctions. President Biden has been very clear for a long time in his view that uh, Nord Stream 2 is, um, is a bad idea. And I reiterated that view uh, directly to, uh, to Foreign Minister Maas. Um, and I also made clear that firms engaged in pipeline construction risk uh, U.S. sanctions. Uh, the pipeline divides Europe. Uh, it exposes Ukraine uh, and Central Europe to Russian manipulation and coercion. Uh, it goes against Europe's own stated energy uh, security goals. The decision to waive sanctions has given Berlin and Washington three more months to resolve a long-standing row. The $11 billion venture had strained ties at a time when Berlin and Washington were eager to build relations which were severely disturbed during Trump's presidency. Now, Germany and other European countries see the Nord Stream 2 as a crucial project to securing long-term energy supplies to the region. Germany had rejected the looming imposition of sanctions as interference in domestic affairs. German Foreign Minister Eko Maas has welcomed the move as a conciliatory step. This is a sanction beschlossen worden auch gegen die Nord Stream 2 AG und die CEO, nur für die ist dann auch gleichzeitig wieder ein Presidential Waiver in Kraft gesetzt worden, das heißt, dass sie wieder ausgenommen worden sind. Und das empfinden wir als einen konstruktiven Schritt, den wir gerne mit unseren Partnern in Washington weiter besprechen. The 745-mile pipeline, which is more than 95% complete, will run beneath the Baltic Sea. It will double Russian natural gas shipments to Germany. The project has long been in the crosshairs of the United States, particularly by the administration of former President Donald Trump, which promoted U.S. gas and openly criticized European countries for buying energy from Russia. Russian neighbors Poland, Ukraine and the Baltic states have also fiercely opposed the pipeline, fearing that it would increase Moscow's political leverage in a regional politics. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.